Whoa. Oh man, it has been a long, hard day. Ah, love that whole milk, whole milk, whatever the fuck whole milk is supposed to be, I guess it's, uh, as opposed to uh, fucking fat free milk, fat free milk. No sugar ice cream, no alcohol beer. Oh man. Well, it is dinner time in the trailer. It is dinner time in the trailer. Tonight, I'm having my favorite. I'm having corn dogs and tater tots. Corn dogs and tater tots. <sighs> Fried and bacon fat. The only way to cook a corn dog is to fry it in bacon fat. Washing it down with some good whole milk. Yes, sir. I'm king of this trailer. I'm king of the trailer, Bart. Got my king-sized overstuffed easy chair. Then I don't have any goddamn ranch dressing for my tater tots because I ate the whole fucking bottle of ranch dressing. So I should help me remember to get some ranch dressing. Let me go to the store for more tater tots. But anyway, I wanted to do a go over here and check the mail from my, my loyal listeners. This is from one of my groupies, Gloria. Gloria Ninati. I think Gloria's from uh, Australia. Never seen a picture of Gloria. I, uh, I could be wrong, but I have an idea. A basic idea of what Gloria Looks like she just celebrated her 40th birthday last week. Uh, welcome to middle age, darling. Mm. Well, anyway, I was doing this rant and I got interrupted by these kids arriving, and I was talking about. This show, um, this Netflix thing that I'm watching about twin flames, <clears throat> about finding your twin flame, you know, your soulmate and shit. And I was just getting to the point that went where I was talking about how all of the, uh, how all of the, uh, women in this thing looking for their twin flames seem to be fatties. These big fat fucking tubs of lard wondering why they can't find their twin flame. Uh, no, even the main woman that is in this cult, you know, it's this married couple, the guy is perfectly slim. I mean, the guy is slim and good looking, and he's married to this to this fucking tub of fucking lard. And I'm going, dude, what the fuck? 
How can you stick your dick in this fat bitch? So anyway, I was starting to comment on that. Got interrupted. But uh, I guess there was enough. Now, Gloria had a question. Or a comment. Was it a question or a comment? We have a, a question from Gloria with four thumbs up. Why do you always go on about fat people? Why do I always go on about fat people? Here is my answer to Gloria. Oh, man. I am just endlessly fascinated by how folks could have such little self-respect that they would do this to themselves. I look at fat people. About 80% of the population around here, like I look at garbage dumps. At age 64, I am up to 32 inch jeans and I am totally ashamed and disgusted when I look at myself in the mirror and how disgustingly fat I am. At least I can well, for now, anyway, at least I can still see my own dick without having to look in a mirror to see it. It's kind of like what my mama, who had a BMI of about 35, about what my mama used to say about white trash with garbage strewn all over their yard. You would say, I don't care how poor you are, you don't have to live like trash. As Bill Maher says, we need more fat shaming in this country not less. I will take you porn over pod of whales any day. I hope that answers your question, Gloria. So anyway, I was uh, I went over to a uh, you know, after reading my comments, uh, here on YouTube, uh, and eating a breakfast. What did I have for breakfast? I think I had a piece of apple pie a la mode for breakfast. Go over to the mainstream media, and uh, <laughs> here we have it right here in Yahoo Life, Oprah. Oprah reveals she is now on weight loss medication. Quote, I am absolutely done with the shaming. Oprah Winfrey is sick and tired of being shamed for being fat. And then what she was, then she's talking about now so, Oprah, you know, it goes up and down, up and down. Uh, now, so she, so she gets on the weight loss medication, weight loss medication, and uh, she's talking about that. So guess what now? Now she's getting shamed for taking weight loss medication. Huh? 
imagine that being shamed for a weight loss medication. But as fascinating as the story about Oprah was, uh, it was the ad. You know, I do not have an ad blocker. So it was the banner ad across the top of a Yahoo news story about Oprah Winfrey uh, giving up on dieting and uh, just popping a pill to make herself lose weight. We have an ad from McAllister's Deli. Never heard of McAllister's Deli. This is the uh, this was the picture above uh, an article about Oprah Winfrey uh, being fat shamed. All right, we have sticky, smoky deliciousness for a limited time. Try three new honey barbecue pork options, each with a finger licking honey barbecue sauce filled with smoked pulled pork and delicious cheese. Feel free to go hog wild. Feel free to go hog wild. Well, I'm gonna go hog wild on this tub of chocolate fudgy brownie ice cream. I have a uh, I have added some uh, I have added some chopped pecans to my chocolate fudgy brownie ice cream. Oh man. I don't even know who makes this shit. This chocolate fudgy brownie ice cream. I can only imagine how much palm oil I'm eating now. All right. So the mainstream media is inviting and encouraging me to feel free to go hog wild after I finish ordering my weight loss medication. Okay, order now. So, I'm pretty sure if I remember my fourth grade nutrition class, which was the last nutrition class I ever took, I think it's about 2,500 calories a day that there's, you know, that a, a normal, healthy adult is supposed to eat. So we're going to uh, let's visit the McAllister Deli's menu. All right, we're going. Let's see. Take a while. Guess what? Are Let's see, I, I'm just stabbing. Uh, how about the honey barbecue pork nachos? This is one of the, you know, they're, they're bringing out this honey barbecue pork. So they actually have a plate of nachos to start off your meal. The honey pork don't ever say I've, I've never advertised a uh, news you can use. We are looking at 1,700 calories. It has smoked pulled pork, cheese dip, cheddar jack, 
uh, and a drizzle of honey barbecue sauce served over tortilla chips. Oh man, I have got to get to... Uh... So let's look at the nutrition facts from the plate of nachos. The honey pork nachos, 1,700 calories. We have 109 grams of fat, 2,840, is that grams of sodium? 126 grams of carbs. Now, let's just look at, uh, uh, let's see, why don't they, they're really, what they were bragging about were their honey barbecue pork spud. This is a a uh, stuffed baked potato. All right, do the item. This is one baked potato, 1,660 cal calories. Oh my God. And that, I, I don't know if that includes the butter and the sour cream or not. I see that the butter and the sour cream are on the side. I, uh, so I don't think the 1,660 calories for the uh, barbecue pork spud includes the butter and the uh, sour cream. A giant spud loaded with smoked pulled pork, cheddar jack, honey barbecue sauce, with a side of butter. Nutrition facts. All right. 65 grams of fat, 165 of, car, of carbohydrates. I don't know why it doesn't have its sodium here, but uh, let's see what we're going to wash down now that we've had our appetizer and our main dish. Let's see. I guess the signature drink at McAllister's, you know, they're, they have their own special drink. Got McAllister's really The caramel apple lemonade. Okay. The caramel apple lemonade. One glass. 380 calendar, calories. 380 calories and one serving of caramel apple lemonade which is made with cane sugar and caramel apple syrup. How many grams of? 98 grams of carbohydrates, which is another way of saying 98 grams of sugar. That's assuming you don't get a second one. But speaking of sugar, no, uh, no, uh, meal would be complete without uh all right do we want the butter pecan cheesecake or the colossal carrot cake the butter pecan cheesecake one slice 680 calories versus the colossal the colossal cheese the colossal carrot cake looks pretty good 
but do they want to show me? Okay, the colossal carrot cake, one thousand one hundred seventy calories. The colossal. So, all right, between the nachos, let's see, the nachos, the baked potato, drink and dessert, let's see, 17, 32, 36, 4,800 calories, more or less. 4,800 calories to go eat at McAllister's Deli. Well, I'm just gonna sit here and uh, no, I better not leave the trailer because I won't be able to get out of my truck. You know, I, uh, It's not like I'm, you, you know, I'm, I'm proud of this. I, I guess I should uh, do some new profile pictures for Pod of Whales. Uh, for Pod of Whales. Uh, My, my profile uh, Sancho says I like the uh, the looks of that Bob what do you think should I uh, should this be my new my new uh, pod of whales profile picture you know, I, I just try so damn hard. You, you know, everything, I, I just don't get it. Uh, why? I can't get rid of this. With everything I do. Nothing helps. Nothing helps. What the fuck am I supposed to do? You know? I guess I'll uh, have to join uh, I'll have to join uh, what's her name? Oprah uh, CVS Pharmacy to go get some of that uh, uh weight loss drug I guess I can stop at CVS Pharmacy on my way back from uh, McAllister's Deli what do you think uh, God now little dog if you if I give you chocolate You know that we're gonna hear from everybody and I'm killing my dog. Or I'm killing my fat little dog by giving him some uh, fudgy brownie ice cream for his own fat belly. Anyway. Oh fuck. I'm off to uh make a I'm off to make a uh, new profile for a pod of whales uh dating site uh then I need another margarita. Uh, anyway, 
Gloria and anybody else wondering why I, I am always going on about fat people. Maybe that answers some of your questions. <clears throat> you want to lick some of that off or not? Nope. I don't want to lick your damn belly. Find some woman on a pile of fish to come uh, lick your belly. Uh, humans, we're, we're such fucking pigs. We're fucking shameless pigs. We're a bunch of fucking greedy, unrestrained, uh, no self-respect, clueless fucking morons. Oh, God. All right, just back to pot of whales for me. Bye. Ladies.